Okay guys, I think I finally got this thing set up right. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to make this video once more. <laughs> um, and Anna's gonna help us this time, yes. Yes, you are. So I'm on the mic, you're not though, but uh, hopefully they can hear you if you say something. I got the door open and Anna's right here. Yes, good boy. I'm just gonna go and review a little bit of what we talked about last time because we've been using that to build up everything we've been doing. So let's say, Anna, will you move around the room a little bit? And, and, and I'm gonna practice his job, right? We're teaching him a job. His job starts, go ahead, yeah, distract him for me. Milo, yes! As soon as I say Milo like that, that's when the beginning of his job starts. So when he does that, he's, that means pay attention to me, that's okay. Pay attention to me and come over to me. And when you come over to me, do what you're doing. Okay, good job, buddy. And so I just wanna walk through a couple of pieces of training and the next piece of training we're doing with him is him understanding, you know, he's doing all of this for food and he, he's doing it for fun and that's great. But now when we start to build some responsibility, this idea that maybe you have to stay a little longer, maybe you have to go right and not left when you wanna go left. So you can go sit, babe, thank you. Um, so part of that is when you're, not on, when you're not off leash and you're on a leash, Anytime he was on a leash, he'd just be a hurricane, right? So he was just a wild man, and it was hard to control him. It was hard to, like, get his attention or do anything. So how I like to explain this is think about the leash like you think about the steering wheel of a car, right? If your steering wheel, if, you're, if, you're, if somebody next to you is holding the steering wheel really tight and doing other things, it's going to mess up the whole process, right? So the steering wheel needs to be like unobstructed and ready to go the direction you want it to go. So this is kind of what I mean. Like right now, you see how he's not yanking on my line or anything and my leash is very loose. This is his job to make it loose like that. So that way, if I decide to move him, yeah, good boy, there you go. When I go a little left, he knows I'm trying to move him left. The idea is to not fight the leash pressure. Yes, good boy. That way I can direct him around and help him understand that if he's going the wrong way ever or doing something inappropriate or incorrect, I can always guide him using the leash. And then let's go around the room a little bit. There's a good boy. And as he walks, this is how I want him to walk. I hope you guys can still see. I think you can. So this is what it should look like, you know? And that doesn't mean he's gonna be in that spot all the time, perfectly, every day. But, sorry buddy, that's my fault. But what it means is, if, he's, if he understands that this is the expectation, like right there, he's falling out, I can guide him back right to it. Good boy, super dude. Yes, nice job, good job. So with the leash, a lot more advanced things are possible, but me as the handler or you guys as the handler and him as the dog, you, you all have a part to play. If he's not aware that this is supposed to be a communication because we don't understand how to hold the leash or use the leash, then he'll always ignore whatever's coming through the leash. And that's something that we're gonna work on and talk to you guys about. So, come on buddy. And, good boy. Yeah, you can now. We'll, so right here, he got a little distracted and I used my leash to bring him back to me. I know it was subtle, but I used the little bumps on the line. Wanna walk around a little bit? Okay, here he goes. So my leash is now tight and I wanna go this way. I'm gonna let him keep, yep. But I'm gonna give him a little bump and that immediately changes his mind and I can reward it. Yes, good boy. Because he's participating in, in listening. So here we go, another option. He wants to go that way, I wanna go this way. Yeah, he felt his own bump and came back. There you go, dude, come on. I'm gonna go by Anna one more time. No, it's okay, just do what you're doing. I'm gonna bump him, you saw the bump, and the bump means to him, I gotta change directions, come with Jeff. He's going the other way. So he's never, he, with me, he's never gonna learn that he should fight the leash, that he should grab on it, he should rodeo with it, and he should just overall disregard what the leash is doing. His job is to stay within the distance of my leash. Exactly, his job is to stay within the distance of the leash, so there's always this beautiful little slack, so no one's pulling on his throat, and I'm not being dragged anywhere. And good boy, come on now. Good boy. And as he does the right stuff, we, we will always positively reinforce using our marker words and things. 
And again, like he's learning over the last few sessions that just because there's a situation going on to his side doesn't mean he needs to be involved in it, right? That a boy. Yes. Good job, dude. That's a good boy. All right, let's do something else. Let's go place. Good place. So as we build this duration, you see how he hopped off before we were supposed to? I can use the leash now to guide him back. The leash, the way I'm using it now is manual and analog. And over time, as he masters this basic foundation stuff, when we move to the e-collar stuff, what will happen is the e-collar replaces the leash. So it will be a wireless connection to your dog instead of a tethered manual connection. I fixed his one mistake and now here he makes a small mistake. Go place. Yeah, Good boy. Uh-uh. Go place. Good boy. Good boy. And I'm asking a lot of him. I'm very distracted. I'm talking to somebody else and he knows that. Yes. Good job. Uh-uh. Go place. So this is how I can use my leash now. Now that he understands the basics of the leash, how to follow it and how, to, how I can use it to guide him. And whenever he makes mistakes now, as I get him to build patience, as I get him to build impulse control, I can use the leash to now advance his training. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Good job. Okay. Yeah, buddy. There you are. There. Good job. Good job. And also his standing still for getting pets is improving. It is, yeah, it, it's not all the way gone yet, but it's, in, it's definitely improving. All right, I think, um, you know, uh, the leash, leash, <laughs> leash guidance is the topic of today. I wanted to just cover it and, and show you kind of like what he learned about the leash and now how I'm going to be using the leash to now advance more of his uh, understandings of, the, of things. So hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. And as always, if you have questions, please send us a message and we'll be happy to talk to you guys about it. For now, that'll be it. Thank you for watching. Good boy, buddy. He's a good boy.